Hi friends, it's Nancy and Gibson. <laughs> he always knows when to respond, doesn't he? So I'm going to try something a little different today. Um, um, Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage mentioned that she had tea dyed reinforcements. Well, I happened to pick these re reinforcements up yesterday at the thrift store. Um, blue tags were 75% off, so I only paid 12 cents for this package. And I left them overnight in tea because it took a long time for the color to absorb. I did another batch this morning, and this morning I left them all day, and when I came home, I took them out of the tea bath, and they're, they're, they are lighter colored, and that's okay because... Um, a little variety, nothing wrong with that. So now I'm going to stamp this on top of the reinforcements. And this stamp is a Stampin' Up! Uh, stamp that I got at a set that I got at the thrift store, and it's called the Open Sea. So I've got a piece of paper here so I can test drive this first. Looks good to me. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Um, So of course, I gotta use these. Uh, I saw this idea on a video. I do not remember whose video it was. It might have been Luna Razu, Sheena at Luna Razu, but I'm not 100%. So I have some um, catalog cards from a uh, books, <laughs> and I'm going to um, put on these, uh, I need something to poke because the centers are still there. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these on the holes there. Now the holes are bigger than the reinforcement itself, but that's okay. A little glue booger. So just, to, I mean, it is sticky, but um, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to make sure it sticks permanent. And I just heard my own dear sweet husband come in the door, so I'm going to pause briefly. All right, he's settled. I was doing something. Oh. Just making it a little dirtier there. Okay, so what I want to do now is, yes, I'm doing a video. <laughs> I left him and I said, I'm going to go finish my video. And he said, okay. And then 12 seconds later, are you doing a video? Um, okay. I have got this, this fabric, this lacy fabric and I've been hoarding it. And, uh, so finally I've cut it up. So I'm just going to glue it on three sides and, um, make a pocket. I, uh, yeah, I really do like that. And. 
end. I thought this would be a good mass make sort of project. So I'm going to do some more. Oh, well. Let's do all of these first so that I can ink around around them. So I'll place that there and then you can see how um, this hole, the hole in the reinforcement is smaller than the hole that's in the card. So when I put the second reinforcement on, I'm just going to match that up. So um, I did point the post a picture of this uh, a tea dyeing of the reinforcements on my Instagram this morning. So probably you already saw it. What? You don't follow my Instagram? Oh my word. This one was actually glued into a book, so I just tore it out. I think that's going to be just fine. Her executive director promised me she was going to bring her puppy to work tomorrow. Because I haven't had a work puppy for two years. She, so I texted her this morning. I said, bring me a dog. <laughs> she said she couldn't because she had to take her bum someplace after work. and wouldn't have time to go home and take the dog back home. But she would bring puppy tomorrow. So I will have a work puppy. And Jordan and I went out and grabbed naked burritos at this uh, place nearby our office called um, Holy Guacamole. So we had, and I said to Jordan, I bet it's been two years since I've been to Holy Guacamole. So fortunately, they were still open. So we had a great lunch. Almost done. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how those turned out. Last one.
Alrighty. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue can't really detect a wrong or a right side. I'm trying to decide what color thread I should use. Whether I should go with... Maybe I'll go with an ivory just to be safe. I mean, I would... I wouldn't mind using black for this for this current journal that I'm working on because almost everything's got black thread, but I'm only going to use one in this journal, so I don't want to and you notice I'm just assuming this is gonna turn out okay. <laughs> I'm not trying one first. It's been a long week, which is unusual. I said to my son, I said, has this been a long week or what? And he's like, yes. <laughs> I said, like, even today has been long. I looked at my clock at 10 o'clock and I'm like, how is it only 10 o'clock? <laughs> oh well, I got a lot done. Almost caught up from my week off. I found out that uh, August 17th is... Um... Nationals uh, Thrift Store Day. It falls on a Tuesday. I mentioned it to Catherine this morning. She says she'll celebrate. And I said, you know what? I still got two vacation days from 2020 I could use. Because <laughs> if anything would be my national holiday, it would be Thrift Day, don't you think? Last one. I, don't, I had exactly enough to do all of all of these pieces. I had two pieces um, left over that were four inches long. So I said I was gonna ink these first, and then I didn't. put my pin in. If you know where I saw this project, will you remind me so I can give the right person credit. Okay, I'm going to pause now, change out the color of my thread and Give these all a stitch. Okay, all the sewing's done. So now I'm taking these strips of fabric and just poking them through the hole. Mm -hmm. 
So there's my little pocket. So this can float. It can be clipped onto a page. Uh, it could be tucked into a pocket. And of course, little tags, little um, little folds of paper uh, can be stuck inside that lace. And I could do some collaging on here. Like maybe I would want to need a bird. We need a bird. Those are flowers. Where's the birds? Those are some pretty big birds. And maybe I would want to um, tear some paper and layer up. That is an ugly bird. Like a pretty bird like that um, I do have some um, like tissue onion skin paper that has um, carbon copy writing on it maybe I could tear some of that up and layer it on there hmm. well, I'll just put these birds aside right now and think about that um, of course I could just leave some of them plain and wait until I have a purpose for them before I uh, commit myself to doing collage because maybe I'll want a specific color or a specific theme in another journal. So, oh, I do have a little bit of a thrift haul. Um, so I am going to pause while I clear off the desk grab those little things and show you what I managed to pick up today. And I need some more fabric or ribbon or something. I need something. There we go. All right, be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. So this was at Worth a Second Look. Um, I think they'd been, op they'd been closed for a long time. I don't know when they reopened. Um, but when I drove by this morning on my way to work, I noticed that they, there was a sign that said 50% off everything. So my total came to $6 and 25 cents. Um, so the first thing I got was this weird wallpaper. The outside is dirty. Maybe the whole thing is dirty. Oh, rats. I was hoping there would be some good stuff there. Oh, there's a little bit. So this is like a flocked, green flocked paper. I'm just going to cut off this dirty bit. That can go right in the trash. So that wasn't such a great buy, but... Something different, eh? Um... This was, this was a dollar, so I paid 50 cents for it. This is a full roll of wallpaper. Ugh, it's a little dirty on this end. wet wipe. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. i peel the sticker off so I can unroll it. I 
Well, here we go. So it's almost like it's been hand painted. With the little flowers there. Sort of this bamboo and different flowers. So I got a ton of that. this plastic tablecloth. I need this to put on my patio table outside for when I'm coloring dyeing paper. So this was 50 cents. Uh, this is just some uh, tissue paper that I can use for packing things and it was 15 cents. This here is some gift wrap. And the reason I got it was for the, this was 30 cents for the whole bag. It was for the strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Let's see if there's some other interesting ones. This one's vintage. That wedding one's probably vintage. quite yellow. That looks vintage. These ones I'll send back. Get in there, you guys. Okay. But that's what I wanted, was a strawberry shortcake. Oh, these packages of uh, postcards were a quarter. I don't know what's in here, I didn't bother looking. That one's nice. Tower of Pisa. These look. Ooh, this one's vintage. Look at the cars. Brussels. So it looks mostly European. Lots of Germany. Where's this one? That's Rome. These look old, don't they? Also Rome. I think that I think that that was worth fifty cents. And 
I got some vintage cards. They were with these envelopes. Clearly the envelopes don't work. Um, but they were only a nickel a piece. So I can dye those. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? So I've got some vintage cards. And uh, this is one of those uh, post, post, post notes. I just had a package of these that I, I saved a couple for myself and I sold the rest on my uh, Etsy. Seventeen. So, and they were identical to this. So I don't be surprised if you see these get listed on my Etsy in the coming days. Don't be surprised that I can't get this back in the package. <laughs> Oh, and I got these. These are for dollar coins. Um, I only paid 10 cents for that, so. Okay, now I took a big risk on the wallpaper because I had no idea what I was getting there. But I took an even bigger risk on this. So it was uh, 325 And it says it's the stamp case. So it has... Who knows what's in here? They have uh, taped on this case of stamps that I'm not interested in. So those will go back. So let's see what we got. Hopefully there's something good in here. Hopefully there's something good. And here's some instructions on calligraphy. I love these. I used to have a lot of those. I don't think you can get them anymore, can you? I'll have to try all these ink pads. See if they work. Holiday how-to booklet. Self-adhesive fashion seals for a personal touch. So these are just little stickers with A's on them. Well, there you go. Isn't that something? Nope, nope. Try that. Nope. Ooh, copper. Try that. This is embossing powder, clear embossing powder. That might work. Here's another A. There's an H. I wonder if I could carve out these letters and just have the... We'll try that. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a little tulip. From the desk of... Isn't that interesting? 1977. Here's another one I might try to carve out the handmade by. Oh, this has never been used. 
use it as a label maybe. to that. But I think that's going to be it. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that it said it had a, a, a part that you lift out. I'm sure that's what it said. Yeah, it had this this part that lifts out, but I, I don't see it, so I don't know that I'll keep this box. It's kind of grubby. I don't know. We'll see how it cleans up. Um, I'll try those ink inks. The rest of this can go back. But I wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see if this copper one works. Oh yeah. Pre-inked embossing pad. Ew. That's gross. I think that one's pretty dry too. to these two and these two I'll have to test that this can go on the garbage this I'll put away these I'll see what I can do with and yeah so not bad for six bucks hey eh? um anyway thanks so much for joining me we'll talk to you again soon bye, -bye.